Leo, que paso? When I say Leo, I mean Leo Moon. If you have Moon and Leo, this is your video. Of course, anyone can watch any of my videos, but I'm doing these readings, these first Zodiac readings for this new channel, Extra Basic Tarot, with the Moon in mind. We're in the energy of the new Moon in Aries. It peaks in San Antonio around 1.30 in the morning, so I'm doing the Moon readings first and foremost. It's my belief that the moon is more important than the sun when you're looking at the big picture, when you're wanting to zero in on the most important parts of your natal chart. I would say the moon trumps the sun. The moon is our pain body, feelings, emotions, daily habits and routines, I would say that when it comes to synastry, the moon is a hell of a lot more important than the sun. And Mercury is more important than Mars Venus. Mars Venus does not last. So if you have moon and Leo, this is your reading, not really for April. I put the months up just because of the algorithm. I don't know if it helps or not. But I mean, these zodiac readings are really timeless. You can watch at any time. They may or may not resonate with you. Okay. Page of Wands, Ocho de Bastos, Five of Pentacles, Cinco de Oros, Nine of Wands, Ocho de Bastos, the Chariot, El Garo, Nine of Cups, the Body of the Copas, Eight of Wands, Ocho de Bastos. Someone has lit a fire under your ass, but you're feeling very raw. You're feeling very ill-equipped, ill-equipped. You're feeling inept. You're feeling inadequate. You're feeling like, I don't know, you feel that this person is out of your league, perhaps, that they would never be interested in you. I'm seeing feelings of inferiority. Maybe you want to manifest a beige Dodge Ram pickup truck. I'm putting myself into this reading, obviously. I've been wanting to manifest a beige Dodge Ram pickup truck for a few years now, but I'm in no rush to drive in San Antonio, so I'm very chill. When I'm doing Mary Kate's guided meditations, whatever, there's no rush. I'm not desperate. I've not had a vehicle in a few years. I don't really miss driving. But you're wanting to manifest a beige Dodge Ram pickup truck. But meanwhile, you're driving a beat-up Kia Spectra or Chevy Cobalt. Those are my last two cars. Chevy Cobalt was the one that I sold about two years ago. Anyway, um, maybe you're in a mediocre relationship right now. It's not really your heart's desire. You're not really feeling it. And there's someone you have your eye on that you really want to be with, but it just seems out of touch with reality. You seem, you seem defeated. Um, you don't think you have a snowball's chance in hell with this person. And usually when I'm doing a reading, I just stick to one narrative and I just go with it. But I'm getting all kinds of different messages. So maybe something that I throw out will resonate with someone. It'll stick with someone. Um, it could be you're talking to someone and you feel like they just want sex and you're wanting romance. You're wanting love. You're wanting emotional availability but they're not giving you much. I'll clarify and then try to stick just to one narrative when I pull out the clarifiers. Please clarify page of wands over the chariot one card. There you are, king of wands, Ray the Bastos. Gender is irrelevant, it's all energy. Please clarify Five of Pentacles over Knight of Cups, one card. Nine 
Nine of Cups. Please clarify Nine of Wands over Eight of Wands, one card. Queen of Swords. Someone's being very cold toward you. You want them to come at you like the Knight of Cups, but they're coming in like the Queen of Swords. Very cold, very vacant, very emotionally unavailable. The song I'm hearing, unfortunately, is Hello by Lionel Richie. So you could really be pining for this person, but they're not coming through. They're not showing up. They're not offering you much at this point. You could have some oppositions in your synastry. One example of many, say you have your moon at 13 Leo, they have their moon at 14 Aquarius. They're a lot colder than you are. They're not, they're not warm, they're not generous, probably not an extrovert, probably a really intense introvert. And you're just scratching your head, wondering why they aren't responding, they aren't giving you anything back. Please provide an energetic summation. Three additional cards. Four of Wands. Two of Pentacles. Page of Pentacles. I don't think they're giving you much. What I'm seeing a lack of is mutuality. It's imbalance. You're giving and you're not getting much back. This person obviously knows that you're interested in them. They're very aware of your thoughts and feelings. But they're not giving you anything. If they're giving you anything at all, according to these cards, it's just sex. They could contact you whenever it's convenient for them. You have to decide that you're worth more than that. That's what I see for Leo Moon. I hope that helps. Thanks so much for watching. Peace out.